Hello, welcome back to Splatland. Uh, it's been about a month since the last uh, vid. I'm just showing you where we are, what we've been up to. Got the point motors all on board there, all working. Powered by the Gauge Master for the moment, by the CDU. You've got a CDU, I think you've got. From the Elite still active. There's a fiddle, yeah, we've got some lights in there now as well. So you can see what's going on there. There's a warship running around. Um, what have we here? It's the Helix, original Helix we put in for this one. There's a new scene up on top of there with a, a branch line. Got to take in shape. There's a little issue at the moment over there. Okay, that's all it is. The two containers just drop off. No problem. I'll just take them off. Um, so there we are. The station area. The platforms are made of plywood. These Metcalf toppings. And um, the street scene there at the back. As you see, I've moved the helix. Um, it's there. And the reason it's there, because I did have it here, but it was all a bit too tight getting onto the platforms with the, with the point system I had. So I sort of decided to move it. So we've installed it on there a couple of days ago. It's still under test, that's why that piece of ply is there, the one you flying off the end. Um, and we've, we've also moved the track around there, I'm going to put like a viaduct there based on uh, the, you know, it's a walnut tree one, just not a card it, it used to be and there's a track fill something there for that um, it's going to be a sort of a rock scene there with a road coming across at that level disappearing into there somewhere and um, there's a point being a new point being put there I'm going to run the TMD in this area as you can see this is the TMD and some sidings etc um, I just have to it's all running to be honest it's, it's, you know it's, it's, it's so early days I've had a couple of issues with these containers they're not the best in container flats uh, they're the old, old type. You can just see there's a little muck on that one. That's what probably caused that issue. Um, it's not a worry. It happens. So there we are. So let's go a little look and I'll explain you what I've been up to. And put the trains running. What am I going to do? do on the other here, so I'm going to do like I've done here, I'm going to have a raised section on top of this here, so that can be done with some sort of scene, town scene or village or whatever. I could change this train over a minute, I could change this 25 over and uh, just stick the 37 on. These, obviously there's no point motors up here yet, but there will be. Um, I'll explain all that to you in a moment. I'm still getting used to the Formby controller to be honest. Um, it's a bit fiddly. But uh, we'll get there. Put some lights on there, there we are. That's that sort of thing. So, we've got another train running. There's no full train. 37, great runners these 37s. I thought I was going to have issues with them. But in fairness, they really come into their own, there's two of them. As you can see there, these old, these coaches here, they're all Lima things. Well, I tell you what, they are less trouble than any of the Batman stuff that you get now, Parish. I mean, there's no I mean, look at them, I like them getting on, they probably had 10 people who used them before me. I didn't pay a lot for them. Alright, this one there models a bit, obviously needs a fuse. 
But I mean, you know, they've never had any issues with them. They've got them all wheels, they've got all the pizza cutters. I find them great, to be honest. And for the money, and they've got seats in them and everything else, and it's not good, is it? It's a bit of a rip off, to be honest. There she is, I didn't see there, look. The light on for you. You want to see, and HST is running well too. Well, they're all running well. In fairness, I turn them up because I think I've overloaded this gauge master with too much lighting on the two cables, so I'm going to have to alter it a bit. And after a while, it just sort of dims. And I think it's getting overloaded, so that's the reason I keep turning it off. I haven't left it, don't leave it on. But, um, yeah, you can see it all. Come along nicely. I'll show you a couple of trains running in a second. And I'll explain to you exactly what I'm going to do here. And there we are. Just to show you that I've got some stuff running. You stop that in there. Move over on to the other one, she's coming up now, I'll stop this one in the station. As I say, I'm not really used to this controller. I don't like the... It gets me sick of getting used to the speed controls on them. And rather, you know, see... I'll get there. The thing is, I'm doing so much construction work on it, I don't, you know, I don't really spend a lot of time running trains. Just shut them off a minute, right? So let me explain to you what I've done. You'll see, you know, you can see where we were last time. There were just two tracks running round. The helix is by there. I had a little loop running up around here. I mean, that was all right. Um, I was quite happy with it. The issue was here. Um, it was just all too tight coming into this. Uh, what they call a station throat or whatever, coming in in there. So I decided to alter this. So I've got loads of room there you now. It, it, there's nothing, it's not all bunched up and squashed in. I could extend these um, platforms a bit now, but uh, we'll see what happens there. I've got a road, I'm gonna have a road going right around the full length across there, for a little bridge up the end. And as you can see, there's a little incline that's being put in onto a branch line. I'm thinking now I might put a platform in here. So they can um, so they can stop there on the branch as well. Um, so that runs up there. And what I've done, I've cut the I had the two viaducts. I've cut them down a bit to make them fit in there. They look okay. I used the all existing um, wall retaining walls I had to put around there. And there's a little industrial scene up there. I put done some lights on, um, and then it comes around to there. It's all working. Um, I haven't decided how well I'm going to do there yet. I mean, you know, nothing, nothing's fixed. I just made that the other day, to be honest with you. It's not fixed in yet. Um, I've got a, then a tunnel disappearing under some sort of embankment or whatever. Um, I can get up the helix. This, this, this path here comes out. So I got to, when I uh, develop this, I got to keep so I can get in there and do work on this, clean the track, etc. Don't get any trouble issues with this helix. Um, I've had a couple with the other one, but there again, the other one um, has been moved and messed about with. Um, I've got it running at 50 mil, 50, 50 mil centers, so it's, it's, I've had to extend them slightly up here to get onto that, to build the level in there, but you know, it's all looking good. I'll just cut these in. This, this, that's not going to stay there. I'll get a bit of perspex for there. I just leave that there for now. It's expensive these trains. I bought a load of these the other day. Um, so I can sort out the things before I balance the track. Uh, here I'm going to have a road coming up on there, disappearing in there, probably coming around there. I've also manufactured another thing that comes across here. So it'll be tunnel miles there. And this um, TMD ad will come in here with a series of point work running into there. I'll probably get a modern shed to go with this older type version to go there. That's not to there, that's a bus station. And there's going to be some, um, what you call it in there. Yeah. So, um, 
The points under here, I give them a good clean after, and they seem to be working okay. Seem to be working all right now. Um, there's a new one there. I did get a new one for there. I haven't put it in yet. Um, should have put it in the other day, really. Um, but as you can see, it's all it's all sorted in there. Everything seems to run okay. Um, all this work is working. All that works fine. Um, so yeah, it's working fine, really. Where are we going to go from here? Right. We've obviously got tunnel motors to put in there. There's a road going to come off here, down here. And then it's going to come all the way around. It'll probably dive down onto the next level, come around there, roll the way around, roll the way around. I might even run a little return road back down to this level. Um, there's a board going to go on top of here. And that's going to be developed, similar to the one across the other side. I only did this yesterday, so I've slipped a bit of sky in. This is all, this should all come out at the moment. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is building these um, columns here and, and brick papering them and, and doing them the same. Look at that, that's just all awesome. so There's going to be a buttress going there and one the other end. So there's only going to be three columns. Um, and I say I'm going to base it loosely on uh, the, the one the one at the, the taps well, which was demolished. In it. I can remember it when I first started work. It was work up by that. Very impressive. It's 120 feet high. It's got like lattice girders underneath. It's metal lattice girders and red brickwork. Um, it was demolished in the 19, uh, 1969, I think. It's part of the old Barry Railway, which closed in, in 1964 beaching and all that so um that's where we are now as you can see i've just plonked these on and um, there's, there's lights got to be put in there retaining walls put along here um what else is there i'm not sure whether these support these the other day they're a bit modern really for what i've got so i don't know i might get, sell them back on or something because as you can see, most of my stock is from the 60s, 70s. We bought this logo last week. Lovely little runner. This is 24. Beautiful. Uh, I've only run it a couple of times, um, but she runs nice. Uh, I was going to put a container yard there. The idea is that the train drives in here, comes up here, and then it reverses its loads back into here, or it could be oil tanks going there. Um, not sure. There'll be a little bit of rural aspect over there, rural-wise, probably along here. Oh, this will be like ruralized with a big rock. I might have to extend this out a bit here. I think it's a bit tight. It's not going to look right. So I might have to move that up there to get like a rock effect, which you've got in Tapswell. It's all, there's a massive gorge there. And so basically, um, it should look pretty much like it, if I can build the thing, obviously. Um, and then, see, and the, as you can see, what I did do on the other layout, I had all this fitted in up on top of here. I had this line here that the 24 containers are sat in. I had this on, on an incline.